in terms of global uh, globalization and global citizenship, I think there are a couple of elements that we really have to uh, emphasize in our educational system. Uh, first, um, there is the aesthetic moment. Uh, I, I'm convinced, I think Dewey was too, that the, um, the success of making global citizens, educating uh, our, our, our young people for global citizenship uh, is going to depend on a certain aesthetic response uh, to people who don't look like them, mm -hmm. to foods that they're unaccustomed to, to music. And I think, to, to be quite frank, I think that young people these days are quite open to these kinds of things mm -hmm. uh, and only need to be shepherded mm -hmm. in ways uh, that they can, uh, their experiences can come to fruition. Um, I remember uh, uh, driving uh, in the middle of, uh, of Cuba and stopping at a gas station and uh, I had a, a, a brief conversation in Spanish with the person who was filling up my uh, car and uh, the last thing he said before we drove off is, I really like your music. Mm -hmm. Okay, now there, there, there's one of the seeds of uh, the global citizen right there. Um, I think also um, travel. Uh, not just an appreciation for things you see on the internet, but actually travel is, is so important. And so study abroad for uh, our students, <coughs> extremely important, uh, that they be someplace, that they learn a language, because uh, to learn a language is to learn a culture. Uh, this is not something you can just get by a couple of years of language study at the university. You have to be immersed in the culture to find out what people think, how they think, uh, my own uh, experience as a, a postdoctoral student in Germany in the 1970s for two years really opened my eyes to many, many things about my own uh, country, the United States, and I saw the United States in a very different light as a result of that. Um, another thing I think we really have to keep in mind is that not all experience is created equal, <clears throat> and that um, global citizens will relate to one another not on the basis of authoritarian regimes, not on the, on the basis of authoritarian systems, or indeed on the basis of uh, uh, the kind of nationalism that we see in some circles. Um, they will relate to one another uh, at their best on the basis of what do we call an experimental attitude toward uh, um, our problematic situations. And here, you know, I can't resist quoting Dewey's uh, famous remark in 1939 uh, about democracy. Now, uh, 1939 was not a very good year for democracy. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, Dewey said, belief in democracy is belief in the ability of human experience to generate the aims and methods by which further experience will grow in ordered richness. And that seems to me to be one of the keys to educating uh, global citizens. That is, that reliance and the ability of experience to generate further experience rather than uh, hanging on to uh, authoritarian or a priori structures. Mm -hmm.